Okay, so let's talk about Facebook targeting for a second. Now, Facebook gives you a lot of different things that you can use to target buyers for your niche or your business. Where a lot of people do wind up messing up with Facebook ads is that they target and they go too broad. Especially when you're starting off, you want to start off with an audience of no more than about 100 to 300,000 people. So let's say for instance, you're selling sci-fi t-shirts. The first thing that you wanna do is, you wanna to try to name somebody or something within the sci-fi niche. So you choose people who are interested in George Lucas. Now true enough, George Lucas does have a large following on Facebook and the people who are interested in him are likely to buy our, our product. But the thing about George Lucas is, is that he's a household name. And because of this, is that people who are also not into sci-fi will even know him and possibly even show interest in him on Facebook. He has active monthly followers of over 4 million people each month. So what you want to do in that instance is you want to try to go to someone who has an even smaller following. So you might try to target William Shatner. William Shatner played Captain Kirk on Star Trek. He has active monthly followers in the 500 to 600,000 follower range each month. Now while this may look good, it's still too broad for what we want. What you want to do in this instance is you want to try the no one else would approach. Everyone, even if they're not into sci-fi, is going to know who George Lucas is. Everyone, even if they're not into sci-fi, is also going to know who William Shatner is because he's pretty famous. But only diehard fans of sci-fi are going to know the name that I'm going to say next. And that's going to be Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov is known as one of the founding fathers of sci-fi. He only has active followers of about 80 to 90,000 followers each month on Facebook. Now, it's not as popular as George Lucas, but I guarantee you the quality of leads and traffic that we get from targeting this guy is going to be our diehard fans, and that makes them more likely to buy our product. The reason why we do this is because we can actually take those interests that are really specific and narrow those down and stack them on top of each other to give us the right number of people that we want to target with our ads. It also lets us not be in competition with people who have larger ad budgets than us. So the thing about Facebook is, just like Google AdWords, you want to bid on the cheapest keywords that allows you to get the biggest return and not go after the keywords that everyone else is using to target an audience. Get what I'm saying? It's cheaper for you in the long run and it's more specific. Now, let's get a look at what that's going to look like and how to achieve laser focus back in our Facebook audience insights. So here I am back here in my Facebook audience insights. And as you can see, this puppy is all set up for helping you find the right uh, audience that you're looking for. And because I'm in the United States, of course, my default location is going to be the United States, all United States. Uh, you might be in another country or something. So, and you know, with it being said like that, it might have a default for the country that you're in. But I'm here. And I'm not going to fidget around with the location. I'm also not going to fidget around with the age range. And I'm not going to mess around with the, the gender here. I'm just going to type in my uh, interest over here. And then we're going to see what happens here. So in the Facebook audience insights, uh, what we can do is we can type in any type of interest. Now, first of all, it must come up. Okay, so I'm going to target. Let's, let's just say for the sake of this exercise that I'm targeting uh, a niche in like personal and uh, professional development. So, of course, one of those big names that would come to mind for me would be Tony Robbins. And I would type that in there and it just comes up right here. Now, there are going to be some names or even authors and titles of books that you're going to type in and nothing comes up. I have no idea why this is. Uh, no one knows, to be honest with you. It doesn't seem to really come off of like how many likes and post engagements and stuff something gets. It just needs to come up here, though, to be honest with you here. I'm going to click that. What I can see right here is that Tony has, you know, uh, is a big hit with within these age ranges here for each of the genders. Younger men, uh, more uh, middle-aged women uh, up here, uh, so on and so forth. And what I can also do is, of course, I can look up here and I can see that he has about 1.5 to 2 million active monthly people. So this is too big of a name for us to be targeting. What we want to do is get a little bit more specific with our with our campaigns here. So what we can do is keeping Tony Robbins right here, we can actually go over here into the top categories of things of people that actually like Tony Robbins and what they're more likely to like over here. And you're going to have to use your judgment over here because not everything is going to be for you. Now, do I think that people who are interested in Tony Robbins would also be interested in Joel Osteen Ministries? You're doggone right I do. All right. 
So do I also think that they're going to be uh, interested in Kevin Hart? No, I do not. Um, Vin Diesel? No. Gary Vaynerchuk? Gary Vaynerchuk is a very influential, motivational speaker when it comes down to entrepreneurship. Uh, but I do not necessarily think that these two guys right here go hand in hand. So I'll keep looking. And here we are right here. We got Tyler Perry. And Tyler Perry might be, you know, he might even have a, a larger audience. Um, but I will say this right here also is that each one of these names right here that you see in this in this uh, list is going to be a link. And if you don't know who someone is or what something is, then I would advise you to click on that link, open it up in a new tab, and then do a little bit of research right here. Dr. Wayne uh, Dyer here. He has got over 3 million likes. So he might be a person that you might actually want to take down. And what, I'm, what I actually do down here is I actually uh, get out my little word pad right here and I'll type in about 30 different interests that are smaller names than the one I have. And that helps me get real specific and to cut down off of the audiences that I have later on. So uh, let me see somebody else that I might know. Jim Rohn, okay? Jim Rohn is a very motivational speaker. And you would really, a person would really have to be into professional development, personal development in order to know who Jim Rohn is. Uh, Deepak Chopra, he has a big name as well. He's bigger than Jim Rohn, which Jim Rohn passed away back in 2009. But I'm looking for the person or the thing that no one else would know besides a, uh, you know, a, a really a guru or some kind of a fanatic of a genre uh, or an audience or something would know about. So a person who is deeply into a professional development would know who Jim Rohn is. So what I do is I go up here and I will X Tony's name out and I will type in. Let's see if Jim Rohn pops up. It does. How many active monthly people? 450,000 to about 500,000 monthly active people. This might be a good name to get down on my word list here. And then it's on to the next name on the list or the or on to the next thing on the list. It actually gets a little bit more deep than that. But uh, what we can do is we can use uh, what we've learned and let's just say that you might be into uh, real estate or anything like that. I'll also show you one more thing before I leave. Um, Facebook has recently changed up the page likes uh, interface here. And what you can do is you can go down here. They used to have an affinity score, which is basically when people like something, uh, what, are their, uh, what are their likelihoods of liking something else that's, that's kind of related to that? So, of course, I've got Jim Rohn's name up here, right? And I go down here to page likes. So somebody who likes Jim Rohn might also like Zig Ziglar, who's another motivational speaker in professional development and personal development person. Tony Robbins, Robert Kiyosaki, Success Magazine. You get the picture here. So what you want to do is you want to go down here and you can actually toggle these things right here between their relevance. Okay. And not necessarily think that Mitt Robbie falls in the line with this, but you want the number to be small here because of the way that Facebook changed it up. Facebook is notorious for changing up his tools. So you have to adapt, you have to adjust and you have to get with it. But uh, the Facebook audience insights tool is one of the most powerful tools. And this is where you'll do all your heavy lifting at, because after that you'll start to advertise and you'll start to optimize for conversions. Once you get the right, the people right, you know, to take your offer and it just takes so much work off your shoulders after you get this done. So get down about 30 of these right here. And then actually you'll have a nice, decent audience for when you actually start running your campaigns, you'll be laser focused. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next lesson. And if you like what I talked about, uh, please click on the link up in the description and I'll be having a webinar where I will show you how to use Facebook ads to take your business to the next level. All right. All right.